During that brief, uncharted moment which separates dusk from the dark of night, Mr. H, a prestigious cryptographer and literary critic, unexpectedly hears a knock at his door. An envelope is placed in his hand, and without a word, the messenger turns and vanishes into the shadows. The envelope contains a single paragraph of text, an amusing but otherwise unremarkable passage describing the life cycle of a common blood-sucking fluke called the trematode parasite. There is more. The always perceptive Mr. H detects a pattern among the words, a pattern which conceals a threat. Other fragments and phrases begin to emerge. Seduced by mathematics, the fuzziness of peaches, a tree, a bird, a thought, soaked in theology, various cryptic references to mock conflict, and much else which lies just beyond his grasp. Mr. H and his two assistants set to work without delay. They don't know what the text means. They only know that it could mean anything. The trematode parasite spends the adult stage of its life cycle in the liver of cows and sheep. The eggs exit with the feces of the mammalian host and are eaten by land snails, which serve as hosts for an asexual stage of the parasite life cycle. Two generations are spent within the snail before the parasite forms yet another stage called the caesarea which exits the snail into the ant along with the meal. Once inside, the parasites bore through the stomach wall and one of them migrates to the brain of the ant where it forms a thin-walled cyst known as the brain worm. The brain worm changes the behavior of the ant, causing it to spend a large amount of time on the tips of grass blades where the ant is more likely to be eaten by cows and sheep, in whose livers the parasites may continue their life cycle. But the brain worm itself loses its ability to infect the mammalian host. It thereby sacrifices its life in helping to complete the life cycle of the other parasites in the group. Well, what did the letter say beside the picture? Snail. Snail. What sound does that word begin with? <sniffs> Lillian, can you print that sound in the air for me? Oh, that's very good.
We use a plain style, plain speech only. What is this delirium? Nobody appreciates how hard it is. And still we don't know what a solution could look like. They void simplicity in favour of implausible complexity. But those weasel words don't convince us. They beat it into the wrong shape. They hoard all the best answers. They guard their cryptograms with the seriousness you would expect from outsiders. It's a tough nut to crack for some. In a manner of speaking, no one knows better than they do. But it's two-way traffic all the way. And there are some who still won't admit it. They're good at public announcements. They're good at being outspoken. It's a chilly distance they keep from secrecy. But they are very warm with spare words. They are always in executive session. They're always ready with a sucker punch. They're waiting for the matinee idol. They shuffle good things around with bad things until you can't tell the difference. They are villains in the drama of significant form. We rehearse a lot but never play. We prefer bit parts. We use texts and don't worry too much about the mechanics of how they mean. That's what it means, but what does it really mean? We don't think we'll ever discover the true meaning of the fuzziness of peaches. We don't think we'll ever know the difference between similarities that are really important and ones that aren't. We suspect that a lot of questions used to be interesting, but now they're rather dull. We don't think that a game of chance can say anything interesting about the world we live in. We might have a tender heart, but that's not for you to know. We don't think that Beethoven's last violin concertos are the whole world. We should be home soon. I got seduced by mathematics. Chile because there was more fun in it. Often he forgets that these numbers and statistics must be interpreted by people if they are to mean anything. And because if you know theology at all well, you'll realize that the idea is in the mind of God. He likes to think of the world as being made up of numbers, of patterns, of statistics, if you please, that can be completely relied upon. Uh, mathematics and logic. So this is the way I came into the game in the first place. And I have never had but one question in the whole of my scientific life. I've only wanted to know
stage of its life cycle in the livers of cows and sheep. The eggs exit the feces of the mammalian host and are eaten by land snails which serve as hosts for an asexual stage of the parasite life cycle. Two generations are spent within the snail before the parasite forms at another stage called the Caesarea, which exits the snail enveloped in a mucus mass that is ingested by ants. About 50 Caesarea enter the ant along 